Hi there, and welcome to the first in a series of Photoshop tutorial videos that I'm going to be doing to kind of show everybody some tips and tricks that I've learned over the time I've been using Photoshop. I'm a portrait photographer mainly, so most of what I know centers around retouching portraits and working with photos of people. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I kind of deal sometimes with skin tone when it's not looking super even. So I'm going to open up this portrait here into Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC, the latest version, but you know, you could use this tutorial pretty much applies to any version of Photoshop or probably other image editors as well. So here we have a portrait and from about this size, maybe a little bit farther away, it looks pretty smooth. You know, everything looks pretty good. It was lit really softly. So there's not a whole bunch of really jarring texture in the skin, but as with anything, we can keep zooming in. And as we get to hundred percent here, it looking, it's looking pretty, textured and you know that's absolutely normal of course there should be texture in skin i'm an advocate of not blurring away all the texture and i'll probably make a video about that later but right now we're seeing a few things so if we look up here um the forehead the color here of the skin and kind of in his cheeks it's more of a yellow orange kind of skin tone whereas if we look here right here between his brow there's that little red and there's some red here and there's some redness around and below his nose so we don't, you know, we don't always think about it, but it'll look a lot more, I don't know, kind of, the skin will look more homogenous, I guess, if we fix that. If we, if we kind of push those tones over back into the orange yellow of the rest of his skin. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate the layer that I have right here. And you can drag that down to the new layer or press command J. And I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue, saturation. And I'm just gonna assume kind of that you're familiar if you're watching this with some basic tools like the hue saturation and with working in layers. Um, you know, if you're not, there's some great tutorials online you can find to familiarize yourself with that. So, like I said, we're trying to take these red parts in the skin and push them back into being like the rest of the skin tone, more of a uh, yellow orange. Because, you know, in your skin, if you have any, some people have darker blemishes, you know, acne or any, just discoloration depending on age. And that it's, you can clear that up by retouching it out with a clone stamp or a um, healing brush or something. And we, pro we would probably do that for lots of little things here. But as an overall first step, this hue saturation trick is pretty cool. So, right now, it's set to affect the master saturation. So, you know, you can see if I pull down saturation, all the color goes away. So I'm going to reset that. And I want to only affect the reds, so I'm going to go down from master to reds. So to see what constitutes as red in this, I'm going to pull the saturation down. And so now it's desaturated everything in this picture that is red, which is obviously here too much because we don't really have any of the skin color showing through. We have a little bit on the sides of his face, but most of it is gone. So down here, we have this little kind of a slider that goes around between, it shows us all these different hues. Now if we click in the middle of that gray area, the dark gray, we can move the slider, you know, back and forth, left and right. And if we move it over to the left, we're pushing more into the magenta kind of blue area, and to the right would be the green yellow area. So right now we want to be affecting in our adjustment only the red parts. So we keep pushing this over until right here now we have skin tone showing up, <clears throat> but we also have the red is completely desaturated. You can see under his nose and eyes and between his brow, you have these patches of no color. So that's good. That, that shows us that there's all the red we want to be working with. So we'll go back to saturation now. Now that we know that we're working with this, we'll go back, reset that to zero. And we just want to take the hue, take all those red parts and push them over towards the other parts of his skin tone. So I'm going to start with maybe plus 11. And already everything looks a lot more kind of everything fades and blends together better. There's no red parts sticking out really. And depending on your photo, you know, you might only need to go hue plus five or plus 10. You know, some cases you might need to go way even more. You know, I could pull this to 14 or 15 just to show you an extreme example. But um, yeah, you know, I'll do this and I'll fade it back later. So here we can see everything's kind of blended together a lot better and we'll hit okay. And as you can see, if we zoom out, his skin tone now looks a lot more even overall. 
and all these little red spots that were there are you know the, all the texture is still there but the color has been shifted and it's not so distracting anymore but if you can see his lips eyes and ears everything looks kind of flat because it looks basically like everything is one color and that's not normal so I'm just gonna make a new mask on that layer that we did with the new mask button right here and if you don't know how to use masks they're pretty awesome and I'm sure you can find some great tutorials online and on YouTube to show you how to use them so right here I have my new mask I'm gonna go choose a brush and I'm gonna set the opacity of the brush to something like 20 to 30 percent and I'm just gonna make the brush big enough to brush in some pretty big areas of where I want the red to be back in so I'm brushing black onto a white mask which reveals the layer below so right here you know we're gonna bring the color back into his lips and some of his ears and around the eyes you know it depends how much it's kind of an individual picture thing it's, one setting is not going to work for every photo so I'm just using this photo as, as an example so here we are now it looks a lot looking at this you wouldn't think oh there hasn't been a huge change because it looks pretty natural we haven't destroyed any texture we haven't taken out anything really or added anything what we've done is just shift the colors of the redness over to match the colors of the rest of his skin I'll show you right here's the before and notice again all the redness everywhere and after everything looks a lot more cleaned up and there you go so this is kind of a first step or maybe not first depending on your workflow but you know I like to kind of do that and it gets some of the work and makes it simpler because now we can look at it and say what do we really need to retouch because before we could have gone crazy trying to retouch all these different red spots out or whatever and now we look at it and the red spots look a little more like natural freckles or something so you don't have to spend as much time retouching you know here I keep looking at this little thing between his eyes and I probably would um, heal that out or clone it out or you know those little things but overall the complexion has been helped greatly by just pushing those reds over into the more yellow orange area so I hope that you can take this tip and use it on your own photos and make them great and uh, thanks for watching